Hello everyone. This is a short five minutes uh, presentation. Everything you need to know about Clubfoot for the FRCS examination. Basic information that can uh, very frequently come up on the uh, theory exam, theory part of the exam is uh, club foot is the most common birth defect, one in a thousand live births. The cause is multifactorial. There's a family history in 25%, and the incidence in twins is 30%. The risk is in sibling in siblings is five to ten percent. Always look when faced with a case in the exam. Always mention to the examiner that you would be looking for other congenital anomalies such as spina bifida or uh, DDH. Deformities. Um, always remember the cave acronym is very important for both um, descriptive purposes and also as uh, as a treatment guide so two deformities of the hind foot um cavus sorry varus and equinus and two deformities of the midfoot are adductus and cavus Pirani scoring system, you will really score very high uh, in the exam, uh, particularly in the Viva, uh, if you can describe this score um, to the examiners. Uh, there are six points in this exam, in this, in this score. Each point um, is, the, is, is given a mark between zero 0 0.5 and 1. So the total mark is 6 and the minimum is 0. So there are 3 points for the hind foot and 3 for the midfoot. The 3 for the hind foot are rigidity of equinus, degree of emptiness of heel, and posterior crease. The points for the midfoot are curvature of the lateral foot, severity of the medial crease, and coverage of lateral head of the talus. Radiographs, two views, lateral view with a dorsiflexed foot. This is called Turco view. In normal foot, there'll be about 40 degrees between the talus and calcaneum. In a club foot, there will be um, parallelism between the talus and calcaneus. The other view is the AP view, and here we can assess kite angle. Normally, between the calcaneus and the talus, there is about 30 degrees. However, in club foot, due to um, calcaneus being in varus, they it overlaps with the talus, and the, and the kite angle will be reduced to 0 to 5 degrees. Ponsetti method is um, uh, the mainstay of treatment. Um, Ponsetti is a Spanish surgeon. He worked in, in, in the United States. Uh, basically, the success rate, success rate of this uh, um, treatment is 90%. It typically starts at the first week, end of first week of life. So a really early, early start is better. And the treatment lasts six to eight weeks. Theoretically, it can be used up to, in children up to 10 years old. Um, the principles uh, of Pond City uh, Cup for Treatment are serial weekly casting using above knee cast with the knee flexed to 90 degrees. The cast is changed every week. Child comes every week for the cast change and for manipulation. 
manipulation is you obviously to correct the deformities using the head of the talus as a fulcrum that treatment uh, um, sequence is also follows the cave um, acronym so the cavus is first corrected and here is very important and you look like you've done this before if you describe to the examiner let them know that in the first couple of weeks while correcting the cavus the hind foot and forefoot supination appearance could look worse so always important to warn the parents of that so they don't panic um so cavus corrected first then forefoot and uh, forefoot um adduction and and the various deformities are correct, corrected simultaneously and finally the equinus very commonly there will be some residual uh, deformities there will be 90 percent residual equinus with at least 15 degrees of dorsiflexion for functional foot um, mobility the Achilles tendon release, uh, otherwise require Achilles tendon release and the local anesthetic and patients put in a cast following that for three weeks until the tenotomy heal in, a, in, a, in an extended position. There will be almost certainly will be residual adduction and that treated uh, in, on orthosis. Um, foot abduction orthosis all the time, day and night for three months and then used only at night for four years obviously there's compliance issues here with children so as they're put in, put in this boot foot external rotated about 70 degrees uh, using boot and bar surgical interventions um, are required um, Indications are resistant feet or delay in presentations. You really need to know about the technique, could be asked. And if you get that far in the exam, in a Viva exam, you're really scoring high. Um, you definitely passed, uh, passed the competency question and you are more into the advanced questions. So the techniques are uh, to correct the equinus deformity. We use posterior media release, Achilles tendon lengthening. To correct the varus deformity, you do calcaneal slide. To collect the adductus deformity, you use medial opening wedge or lateral column. So medial opening wedge uh, osteotomy, uh, lengthening osteotomy, or lateral column shortening osteotomy. Um, in in uh, resistant cases, the last resource will be triple arthrodesis or telectomy. Complications are obviously you could have you could overcorrect and get rigid pest planus. You could have a residual deformity. You could have uh, over manipulation, over manipulation, and and you care of the talus could cause the end of the talus. Almost inevitably, patients will have high will have hypertrophic limb, um, and the foot and the calf will be smaller. Majority of cases. That could cause short leg gait issues that could be treated with orthotics as, as required. Other complications include dorsal bunion and towing gait, pressure damage from casting. Thank you very much for listening. Please leave feedback and um, let us know how else we can help you. Thank you.